Hey everybody, it's Rob at Mr. Robot Shop. I got kind of an exciting little thing today. Um, back in the 80s, uh, I used to go to Radio Shack and uh, play this game that you see in front of you. It was called uh, Canyon Climber, and it was uh, made for the uh, TRS-80 uh, color computer. And uh, it was kind of like a poor man's uh, Donkey Kong. I think there were three levels. And uh, it was actually a pretty fun game. Uh, so I actually had this game growing up, and I still have a copy of the cartridge and the ROM on my SD, my Coco SDC card. Um, but the other day I was browsing the uh, or eBay just to see if uh, you know I'm always out looking for <coughs> excuse me vintage uh, computer stuff, and I stumbled across this uh, listing. And I saw this cartridge on here, it was NEC, and it was called Canyon Climber. And I I almost passed it up, I'm like, and I did, I did a double take, I'm like, Canyon Climber, that's the game that I used to play as a kid. So, um, I had thought that it was only released on the uh, Radio Shack color computer, but apparently it was released on that, um, an NEC computer, and I believe an Atari computer. I've just, it's just odd though, because I've never seen that in all the years I've been doing uh, computers, you know, for 30 plus years. <clears throat> Excuse me. But anyways, I saw this uh, computer. It's an NEC uh, PC6001A. And um, I had never seen one before. And I was like, that's really cool. Um, I believe it's, from what I gathered, you know, from like Wikipedia and everything, uh, it was actually made for US US market. Um, but it's kind of looking a little bit rare, and I've seen a lot of computers. It's NEC Trek computer. It's another name for it. It's got the box and the computer and uh, the Canyon Climber game manuals. Uh, but it looks just like the Canyon Climber on the Coco or color computer. So I just received it today. And I'm going to attempt... I'm not really... I don't do a lot of... Uh, YouTube video, so I'm not going to be the camera I've got is just a little handheld uh, Canon, so if it uh, gets bumped around a little bit or what have you, just deal with it. <laughs> so, anyways, I asked the guy, uh, did an offer for 150, had it listed for 200, and uh, so I'm going to put the camera down here. Uh, I was going to unwrap it first, but sometimes it's uh, neat to see, I guess something being open instead of just out there. It did come in a separate box which is nice because a lot of this stuff obviously you wouldn't want this box shipped with uh, or just by itself because you'd have a packing label and that kind of mess up the, the integrity of the box. <clears throat> but you got a canyon climber uh, manual here so this will be able to see it. And this is definitely a different manual. It's from Datasoft. I think uh, Steve, I think his name's Bjork and some other guy uh, did this game if I'm not mistaken. But it's definitely a different manual than um, the one that came with the uh, color computer. It didn't come with Coco, but you know what I'm saying, the game that came with it. Um, the NEC Trek personal computer reference manual. Um, got C save, which is just like the Coco. So I'm I'm kind of wondering if it's actually like a Coco clone or I don't know. We'll see when we get it powered up here, but it was just interesting. Mantle's in pretty good shape. It's got circle commands. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> just like on the basic um, Coco, uh, Microsoft Basic for the Coco. So I don't know. It's uh, interesting. So I'm going to put the manuals over here. <clears throat> NEC uh, Personal Computers User's Guide. It's actually, honestly, it looks a little bit well better put together than a, if there's such a term, as, other than the Coco. Um, I don't know, it's. I've got the manuals for my Cocos and it just doesn't seem like it's this in depth and got as many nice pictures and the layout seems a little better so who knows uh, here's a quick reference sheet got C load 
continue. These are your basic commands, it looks like. NEC software and peripherals sheet. I'm going to kind of zip through this. Most of the games are like $35, it looks like. Maze and Monsters. I wonder if that's like Monster Maze. Sorry if it's not real clear, but I'm probably going to get a little better camera at some point. <clears throat> Alright, so I'm going to gently open this so I don't scratch or cut the box. So I'm going to do the tape off the side here. It's, it's like a when I open these video or the uh, vintage stuff, it's like a kid and presents and Christmas time. It's just a, I don't know, it's a lot of fun. Uh, a lot of times, unfortunately, when you get stuff off eBay, it comes poorly packaged and you have enough cases to return the stuff. So that's the disappointing factor of all this type of stuff. So sometimes we open it. Oh, great, it's not working. It was packaged really poorly and it got damaged in shipping. Um, so, I'll do a quick overview of the box here. There's your front. Got a little handle on the top. Adventure at your fingertips. There's your side. The back. There's the computer. It's got, I don't know what the heck that is, a tape drive or something or a printer. Looks like it's got an expansion uh, unit like the Coco, probably floppy and a tape drive. Kind of crude pictures there. Made in Japan. The serial number 358 blah blah blah. It looks like a 868. So either they didn't make a lot or it's actually lower production. I, I'm thinking they just didn't make too many of this. Oh, Goodwill. The guy picked it up for $15. Wow. Sometimes when I see those, I feel like a sucker, but. I paid 150, but maybe that's why right after I submitted the offer for 150, when he had it listed for 200, he jumped all over it because uh, he know he was he knew he was making a fair amount of money or profit off what he paid the goodwill. But that's okay because not all the time you're going to find something like this at a goodwill. So, um, he did show it playing the game on the eBay listing, so Sony that it works. That it works, there's really good feedback. A little piece of plastic here, I'm not sure what that's from. Okay, it actually looks like it's relatively clean condition. I'm going to kind of drop, uh-oh, where's the cartridge at? I'm not seeing the candy cleaner Canyon Clamor cartridge, so huh, I'm gonna have to. Oh, here we go. Never mind. It was in a separate little bag. That's the other thing you gotta be careful when you order stuff off eBay. Um, <clears throat> a lot of times the sellers will have multiple bags and little packages, and you gotta make sure not to throw something away by accident. So here's a. Make sure you can see a little cassette tape demonstration program, uh, color, rag, intro, blah, 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 blah. I have cassette players upstairs, but I don't think I'm going to have a cassette uh, cable unless it does use the exact same one that the Coco does. Here's your can Canyon Climber uh, cartridge. I'm probably going to grab my Canyon Climber cartridge for my Coco and see if the pinouts are laid out the same. That would be interesting to see. So, get some cutters here and cut this plastic or rubber band here. I don't remember. I uh, I think I looked on YouTube to see if there's any videos about this computer, <clears throat> and if there were some, I don't remember. But if there were any, I would say. Uh, there weren't many. This thing looks really good. It's a really nice shape. Kind of show you the back here. We got the power switch back here. 
it looks like maybe a reset button printer which is definitely different than the coco the coco used a uh, four pin uh, den connection there's your tape connection which actually does look like the coco's audio out channel switch and video out so i'm wondering if it's uh not just straight rf it might be composite maybe there's your volume looks like you might have a speaker up here I'm uh okay power light just went on <clears throat> all right so I am gonna turn my TV on here and then I'm like so I'm not sure if it's RF or what so I'm gonna hook up my uh, cable here to the Okay, there is an RF out and a video out, so it looks like it actually has dual uh, dual connections. So RF and then your composite, which will be your typically your yellow and your uh, for your video, and then uh, white for your audio. <coughs> so this has an RCA straight cable, so I need to get an RCA to an RF adapter over here to get this thing to work. Okay, so right away it came up and said, how many pages? <coughs> I'm not sure exactly what that means. <laughs> Never seen that before. One. Okay. Maybe pages have something to do with uh, reserve memory or something. N60 Basic by Microsoft. Um, so it is green like the Coco. But it's actually more pleasing on the eyes. It's a uh, the cocoa is like a brighter green with black letters. This is a darker background with a light colored letters. So it's actually a little nicer to look at. Uh, color, C load, go to list and run. So um, it does look like it has a standard uh, Atari kind of joystick ports on the side here. So I'm gonna power it off. Excuse me, and then I'm going to pop the cartridge in. I'm guessing if it's like the Coco, um, it's probably not going to have... Okay, well, looks by James Gordon. I'm pretty sure the one Datasoft licensed to NEC. So, huh. Well, this is cool because you can use the keyboard on this, and on the Coco, I do not think you could use the uh, keyboard. I think it was uh, joystick only. So I make, there's arrow keys on the keyboard. Um, so it does let you go left and right. I'm trying, okay, space bar is your jump. Um, the inner button on this is a little on the sticky side. It's probably just a little dirty down in there. So I'll probably clean that up. That's actually the only key that feels kinda like it's a problem. Very nice keyboard actually. Um, that's one thing I don't like about the Coco I have now. I still have one at the house. And the keys are just not, they're just not quite there. This is a really good feeling keyboard. Um, it's got a good spring to it. Said so that enter, that return button. It's probably just got a little stickiness down in there. Sometimes well, it looks clean though. I don't know. Maybe it didn't look like it was used too much, but anyways, that's not a big deal. Um, but yeah, the uh, the arrow keys do move your guys. I'm gonna turn it up, make sure we got some sound here. Uh, that doesn't sound good. Yeah, I'm not getting any sound, so I'm not sure what's up with that. It's just static, so. Um, so I'll probably later hook it up with the uh, uh, other video and audio cable. But, you know, I think I would get sound. Hold on. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, here's sound directly from the unit. So they're pipe. they're not doing the sound through the, uh, um, TV, they're doing it through the unit itself. And actually, this sounds a lot different. It's got music and everything. So let's, uh... 
Wow. It sounds a lot better. It sounds a ton better than the Cocos. I'm, I'm doing this with the camera in my hand and my hand and, and uh, five buttons here. So it's kind of difficult, but the sound is a lot better than the Cocos. I really like the sound better. So I don't know. I'm thinking I like this little computer. It's looking good so far. So anyways, I'm going to go play with it. So I'm going to grab some joysticks and see if it works uh, with joysticks. Uh, the Atari joysticks I got upstairs in the museum. So yeah, keep space bars a little off center too, but everything's working. Anyways, I appreciate you watching. So if you if you see one of these at Goodwill for fifteen dollars, for all means by all means pick it up. It's a great deal. And if you see one on eBay for one hundred and fifty, well get it too, because like I said, very unique little computer and um, definitely worth the money. It's gonna have a nice place up in the museum upstairs. Appreciate you guys watching. Have a good day.